I think Awana is such an awesome and great program because it teaches everybody to believe in Jesus Christ, that he's our savior. You are growing in Jesus and that's what it's all about. Um, it makes me feel good and that I'm and that I'm learning about him more, like God more and more and more, is the more I read the scriptures. Memorizing God's word, that's what's special. James 2.10 For whoever shall keep the whole law and yet stumble in one point, he is guilty of all. Turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth for I am God and there is no other. Awana is mostly Bible memorization and Bible teaching. Kids are grounded in God's Word. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son for that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's Joel 3.16. They have their, their handbook time where they do their sections, they memorize their verses and they say their verses to their leaders. They have a game time which is really the, the most fun for the kids. Okay, who's gonna get the ball? And then there's a council time where we do some, um, sometimes a Bible story, sometimes an object lesson, um, but it's always a, a Bible-based lesson for them. We see a lot of fruit from the kids. They've been grounded in the Word of God. They've been grounded in memorization of the, of the Word of God, and they've hidden those, those verses in their hearts, and that's what we hope to get through to the kids. When I read the verses and I memorize them, and when I tell them to the teacher, I feel excited, and then when I go home, I'll just be running around the room saying the Bible verses. First Peter 5, 7, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Kids are not stupid. They'll learn anytime you challenge them. They'll learn. We have children that memorize verses of Scripture every week and they have the Word of God being tucked away in their heart, and that's going to be forever. At Awana we have the three and four-year-olds, which are the cubbies, and then we have our kindergarten through second graders, which are our sparks, uh, and then in the third group we have truth and training, which are third through fifth graders. We try to convey to the kids that, that being a Christian is fun, and being a Christian is exciting, and we're excited about God's Word. Everybody go to Jerusalem! Well, the reason why, why we have a Bible scene is because we want the kids to learn the Bible. It's important that the kids know that they can have fun, and at the exact same time, they can learn God's Word. Who's ready for game time? Me! Well, game time is still a learning time as far as I'm concerned. Hi! And they love those games. Everybody in Judea! They may not even know that they're learning. Uttermost parts! But because they're having a fun time and they're hearing that repetition over and over again, I know that they're learning. Praise! Well, we have a team tonight that did 21 sections. Woo! Well, the words and the patches and so forth that we give the kids are as a result of things that they do. Discovery number six. For Anthony. Anthony. Good job, Anthony. But the real reward comes as they learn God's Word and they're able to use it. They become very excited about that when that happens in their life. I don't know, it's helped me improve my memorizing skills and now I can memorize things qu more quickly, which means I can memorize more things and grow faster. This one is for the, the from passing off all the green drawers. I haven't finished the blue jewels yet, but I finished all the red jewels. It feels nice. Yeah. It makes me feel really good because, you know, I'm getting through this and I'm finally getting past something and it's like after all the hard work, it's finally paid off. The things that I learn here, I hope to help other people and teach them God's Word and lead them to be a Christian. The kids are excited about Awana, number one. So when they're excited about Awana, they will tell their friends. It's great for their friends to come and to play. Um, so Awana, one of Awana's main focuses is to reach out to the neighborhood and to bring those neighborhood kids in through the kids who are in Awana so that they too can be reached with the gospel. 
Awana is an easy way for people to get involved because there really is a, not a lot of preparation um, outside of the two hours that we have here. The reason I have been in, uh, involved in Awana for so many years is because I believe that, um, that if, if we capture the hearts of the kids, we'll be so much better off because it's so much more difficult for adults to, um, to come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. My oldest son is now 19 and he accepted the Lord as a five-year-old learning Awana verses. He was reading about having a black heart and he didn't like that. He says, well, how can I, how can I have a white heart? So it's been neat as a family to see my kids learn God's word and hide it in their heart. So I have a passion for other kids to be able to do it too. My biggest rewards is to be here with the kids and to see them grow in the Lord and as they learn and as they become a part of the body of Christ. And as you see those gifts within them come forth through Awana, um, it's been a great encouragement for me. great thing to be able to watch those little lights come on. It's fun. It's just absolutely fun. I believe that the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. And it doesn't matter how young you are, you can still learn. Because he himself suffered when he was tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. I think the biggest blessing is, is to come and just see the kids um, enjoy God's Word. And I like Awana a lot. And I think that's really cool. It's really fun. 